Hi everyone, this is Dr. Carola Coba. I'm a comprehensive ophthalmologist in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana area. And this month is National Glaucoma Awareness Month and I've been coming on um, to let you all know a little bit more about glaucoma um, for those who are interested in knowing more about eye health and um, in particular this condition that's been assigned a whole month of awareness because of its prevalence. Um, Three million people live in the U.S. with glaucoma and it costs us um, $2.8 billion in loss of product productivity. So yes, it is a very, um, uh, a very common and it can be a very devastating condition um, because the vision loss is um, irreversible. Okay, so um, we've had a few lives uh, that's been talking about glaucoma. So we talked about who's at risk. We talked about if you're a person of color, your risk of for getting open angle glaucoma um, is um, eight times that of of Caucasians, and and that um, if you have conditions like diabetes, your risk of getting glaucoma also doubles. So it's very important to get routine eye exams. We talked about how it's a sneaky condition, a sneaky disease where you may have it, you don't even know it until it's late in the stage. And so that's, um, and, and the vision again, can be irreversible. But the wonderful thing about um, this condition is there's been so much research. We've come such a long ways over the past decades. Um, and, and finding out about glaucoma itself, uh, about uh, treatment uh, treatments for it, as well as these different modalities that we have to, um, uh, to, to detect it early so we can treat it early and save vision and save, um, you know, uh, loss of productivity. We want people to stay in the, in the workforce to their best capacity and not have to stop working because they've lost vision or blindness have set in. Okay. And so, um, so today we're going to talk about, um, some of the treatment modalities that we have for glaucoma. Okay. So, um, coincidentally, a lot of people seem to know about this condition and they seem to know or think there's a treatment um, for it or have been treating themselves for it. Um, so one of the questions I have, I get, and we will address that in this talk today, is whether or not um, gluck, uh, marijuana, okay, which has been a big topic in the last few years in the, in the U.S. as medical marijuana has um, been legalized in several states, for different um, conditions um, of the body. So, um, you know, I do get that question about um, how does marijuana, can it help my glaucoma? And so, and I get it from um, all different folks. And so it's, it's interesting, but um, I see someone ask the question, hi Jess, um, when does someone need to go and have their eyes checked for this? Uh, well, let me address that question first, and then we'll kind of delve into some of the treatments. Uh, for sure, you want to really, we tend to catch this uh, just from routine eye exams because it's usually asymptomatic until it's, you know, late in the game, your end stage glaucoma. Uh, but some people who, well, people who know that they have a history of blindness in their families or have a, uh, you know, the grandmother had glaucoma or their mom has glaucoma and they're using drops. And so I'll have a lot of people coming in just to make sure that, that they know what their risk factors are and that they too are not developing that condition because um, your risk increases when you have all these various risk factors. Um, okay, and so uh, now let me talk a little bit more about the treatments that you have for glaucoma. So we talked about before how we detect glaucoma, we have to use different uh, modalities to 
um, diagnose glaucoma. It's not just one thing. We got to check the eye pressure. We have to evaluate the whole eye itself, how the fluid is draining out of the eye. We have to look at the optic nerve. Then we have to look at whether the optic nerve is from the glaucoma damage or whether that's just your own eye. So, and then we have to look at race and age and so many different factors to kind of come up to a conclusion about whether you have glaucoma. And then we have to see how aggressive to, to, um, to treat it. You know, is it early in the, in, you know, in the disease? Are we in the moderate stage or are we advanced stage? You know, so all these modalities, all these different things um, t helps us to, to recognize that. So now, you know, with treatment, we have come a long ways to treating this uh, condition, and um, and it's it's kind of it's been interesting, and so we have various eye drops with all different um, different ways of attacking. Well, first of all, let me talk about what it is that we're doing when we're treating glaucoma. So one thing to know is we cannot reverse any damage that's already done. Okay, because it's the nerve in the eye that's, that's, you know, receiving the damage. And the only modality, the only way we can treat glaucoma really is to reduce the pressure in the eye. Okay, the intraocular pressure. Okay, so we can do that by reducing um, the production of the, um, of, of, uh, of fluid, or we can uh, do that by increasing the flow of the fluid out of the eye, all right? So a lot of the various medications um, are used to do that. Then we have uh, other uh, things such as lasers, okay? And what these type of lasers uh, can do, particularly for what we call open angle glaucoma, is to really open up the drainage passages of the eye to help release some of that pressure, okay? And then, uh, and then obviously for surgeries, we've really come a long ways. Now you have a variety of uh, different um, things we can do to help reduce the pressure in the eye. Some people, sometimes we can combine surgery with cataract surgery. Other times, um, it may we may need to uh, actually put what we call like a tube to re to remove fluid out of the eye. And so all of these various modalities, all of these various things are is really targeted towards the pressure, what we call the intraocular pressure in the eye. And the interesting with, thing with glaucoma is you don't have to have high, high pressure to still be having um, uh, damage to a nerve. So at the end of the day, we're still reducing the pressure in the eye, okay? So the management of glaucoma means that we need to manage that pressure and lower it in a 24-7 type of way. So that's why, you know, lasers work, um, surgery work, uh, even the drops, they're supposed to work round the clock. And so now that leads us to, well, what about, you know, marijuana? Well, it's been studied that, yes, marijuana can have a an impact um, on the eyes where it reduces um, pressure, right? Um, however, and there's been studies in the 70s and the 80s about it, and, and now recently there's been some studies uh, of whether eye drops or in a pill form or other forms would work. Well, what they found that, yes, it may have some... Um, uh, some properties where it may reduce the pressure, but that only lasts for about three hours. And so because it doesn't have a lasting effect, it's not effective long term. OK, so let's say if you had to smoke marijuana, you would need to do it continuously, you know, throughout the day <laughs> you know, for you to even have uh, a significant or even an impact on the pressure to call it a treatment for glaucoma. Okay, so it is not recommended as of now. Uh, we don't have um, a way or it, or it hasn't really been um, developed yet um, to use uh, to use marijuana as a form of treatment for glaucoma. As a matter of fact, it's been found out that it can actually have a negative impact on the eyes, okay, whereby the uh, marijuana can reduce Marijuana can reduce uh, 
the blood pressure. And when it does that, it reduces the blood flow to the eye and to the optic nerve and that actually making the glaucoma worse. So once again, um, yeah, it's not really, it's not recommended uh, for a treatment for glaucoma. Um, now that doesn't mean that there's not a lot of research going on, um, you know, in this arena, there's a whole lot of research. Okay, so that's the 411 on marijuana and glaucoma. Okay, so sorry for those who had their hopes up that I was going to tell you, yes, I can write you a prescription. The answer is no, not right now. Let's see what happens in 10 years when we do more research. And, you know, you know, that's who knows. You never know. But for right now, no. The most important thing is one. Uh, you want to get routine eye exams. You want to catch this condition early. So uh, make yourself an eye appointment if you have not done so for the year. If you have a family history of blindness or any eye condition, make sure you get your eyes checked. Um, and so, uh, you know, so that we can catch this and try to slow it down as much as possible so we can keep the vision functioning for as long as possible. Okay, so if you're in the uh, Baton Rouge area, you don't have an eye doctor, and you'd like to reach out to us, and you want to work with me, uh, reach me on um, www.lacenterforeyes.com or call our office, Louisiana Center for Eyes. Uh, we'd be more than happy to make an appointment for you, and I'd love to check those eyes out, make sure they're nice and healthy. Thank you so much for watching. All right, I think someone said, uh, someone had asked a question about um, optometry versus or ophthalmologist. Well, you know, I'm an ophthalmologist and um, ophthalmologists, you know, we're physicians and surgeons. Um, so we're, we are trained in, um, in the diagnosis and treatment, uh, medical, both medical and surgical treatment of eye diseases. And so we have the ability to, um, to treat, to detect, treat um, glaucoma and other, other eye conditions, both medically and surgically, okay? And now optometrists also have the ability to do eye exams and, um, and also can treat glaucoma. And many times we work together to, um, to, uh, to help the person, um, the individual, you know, maintain their vision and so on. So yes, whichever eye provider you can go to for an eye exam, especially for a routine eye exam, do that. Usually if there's something more, then the optometrist will refer you to an ophthalmologist to get further testing or, you know, for surgical or even medical um, uh, evaluations, okay? And I appreciate everyone who's been watching. And uh, we're still in January. I think that's the last Wednesday in January. And so, but I'm still going to be coming on and talking about the eyes. All right. Appreciate you all. Okay. Have a good day.